What's up guys? Welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work here, lady. Alright, this one's called The One with the Mistaken Identity. This is my first post on Reddit. If you find any issues with the setup, let me know. English is not my native language. If it reaches r slash, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, we're no r slash, but we're definitely twice as cool, if not four and a half. It's gonna be a story where someone did not caught off guard when approached from a wild oh, where someone was not caught off guard when approached from a wild carrot. A story. About two to three months ago, I stopped in a shell gas station for gas and to change a couple of light bulbs for the company van. Since I had finished my delivery route and I wasn't pressed on time, I decided to check the air, oil levels, etc. I start with filling the van with petroleum, my original intent, and later move the van to the side so that we don't block a pump for no reason. One of the employees from the gas station came to assist me with changing the bulbs. A few minutes later, the second employee came to check if he could help. The guys were amazing at helping. In the meantime, more customers arrived to the station so the guys go to assist them in between assisting me too. Suddenly it got really busy. As I do not want to waste any time, I wear my gloves and I start checking what the employees have not yet checked. Water levels, oil levels, etc. As I'm checking the water level for the wash on my windshield wipers, I felt the change in the air. I felt the pressure change and a faint <coughs> scream could be heard escaping the buzzing city noises. I thought nothing of it and kept focusing on my van. Then it happened. A light huffing and puffing, the sound of the impatient shoe hitting the floor. The sounds of the busy city went silent for a second. Then I heard it. Yeah, excuse me. I slowly turned to check the place from where the voice questioned. <laughs> I turned slowly, thinking, is she calling me? Nah, can't be. But curious curiosity has me now, so I have to know. I see a lady next to her car, I guess, approaching me. 20 euro gas! Visibly confused in location shell. What? I look behind me. There is nobody to be seen except me. I point to myself. Yes, I'm talking to you! It'll take two minutes of your time, then you can go back to whatever you do. Miss, I do not know how to pump gas. They have you here only to check and change oil? At this point, we need to set up the scene a bit better. The employees are wearing red t-shirts with yellow letters like the logo of the gas station. I'm still wearing my work uniform, which consists of a light green t-shirt with a stamp with my company logo front and back. I've just realized what is happening and I decided instead of getting angry with the wild Karen that expects my reply before she howls and asks for my manager, I'm going to enjoy this. Let's be honest, it was a rare opportunity that a wild Karen that gave me enough time to process the situation before she karened. I had to enjoy it. It just happened. Don't overthink it. Originally, I wanted to check the lights. Are you kidding me? Come now, put 20 euros of gas to my car. I'm busy, I have other stuff to do. I stop what I'm doing and just stand next to the van. That is the same name as the t-shirt that I'm wearing. I cross my hands and get ready for the conversation. I want to remind you that I have the same color and name on the t-shirt I'm wearing as the van. Thankfully, I'm finishing work in about 30 minutes, so I can go home early today. Good, good. Until you finish your shift, can you put gas in my car? I don't think that's legal. I do not know if there are any regulations or not, but I really didn't care. To put gas? For me, yes. Are you kidding me? I do not have a reason to joke with you, miss. I don't even know you. Are all the employees here useless like you? We got one or two that are worse than me. But why do you ask? Do you hear anything? No, I can see you. At that point, one of the employees arrived as he probably heard her yelling. Hi, how much gas you want? At last. Asked someone that knows what to do around here. In an even more confused state. Is everything okay? Did something happen? Yes, mister over here pointing at me, didn't want to service me and tried to be cute with me. Not losing the opportunity, I interrupt. Um, uh, I am on the stationary market. I am not cute with you. Are you playing me for a fool? Miss, the gentleman here is a customer. At that point, I watch her getting ready for another round. She is getting a deep breath and as she's ready to start again, suddenly she stops, looks the employee, then turns her gaze to me, then back to the employee. Confused 
confused eyes and she stops, probably realizing what happened. The gas pump stops. Miss, it's 20 euro. She gives a 20 euro, starts the car, and as she leaves the gas station, she looks at me with her eyes filled with anger and confusion. I just kept on smiling and waving goodbye to the wild Karen. It's not often you have time to enjoy an encounter with a wild Karen in the hectic life of a busy city. I thought that you were chatting. I didn't realize what happened. <laughs> Neither did she. Thanks for reading. You handled that with poise, with grace. Here we have Miss United States. Oh wait, no, this is European. I'm sorry. Blasphemy! Alright, this story's called Wally World. This happened about five years ago. I was working part-time at a Nace Hardware. I had semi-retired the year before, so just wanted to work part-time to keep busy. I'd gone off of work and headed towards the local Walmart where my wife was working to pick her up after she had finished work. I'd gone into the store to pick up a few things instead of just waiting in the car. I was wearing khakis and a light blue polo with the big Ace logo on the left chest side, also wearing black shoes. Being that I was the paint specialist, I wore different colored polos instead of the usual red one worn by Ace employees. As I was going by the hardware area, headed towards the auto area, I heard, Ace is the place! Which, when I looked over, came from, we will call him Joe, a Wally World employee who is behind the paint desk. I knew Joe. We met a few times when I was shopping with my wife, so we knew each other. Joe was trying to help a customer of his, but was having some trouble. Joe had worked in the hardware department area for around six months, and a real good kid who wanted to learn and... I have worked in the paint, home improvement, hardware, etc. field for 38 years. Joe asked me politely if I could help. The customer asked his questions. I gave answers as well as helpful hints on how to do his project. The customer got what he needed and thanked me and Joe and went on his way. Joe thanked me and asked if the wife was getting off soon, which I replied in about 10 minutes. We chatted for a few minutes and then I went over to Auto to get the wipers I needed. Walmart has that little computer thing where you punch in all the information, make, model, etc. and it will tell you what you need. I found one 21 inch wiper and was digging through the mess looking for another when I heard the dreaded, EXCUSE ME! I turned to look and found standing next to me, the typical Karen. The Karen hairstyle, huge sunglasses, she was in her 40s, dressed way too nice to be shopping in a Walmart, and with enough gold chains to make Mr. T jealous. All the cast of characters are as follows. Pink Guy, which is me. Karen, the witch herself. Joe, a good Walmart employee. Customer service manager, the Walmart manager. Walmart security. Cop one. Cop two. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna keep track of all that. <laughs> you took your sweet time in helping that customer and paints, so now you will help me. I need wipers for my BMW. Paint Guy, trying to be nice. If you don't know how to use the computer here, I can show you. No, you will get them for me. That's why you work in this dump so you do your job. I don't work here, lady. Yes, you do. You were helping the man in paints and you are wearing the uniform. Pointing to my chest pocket. Does this say Ace Hardware or Walmart? Ignoring my pointing. You will get me what I want or I will get your manager and get you fired. At that point, I had enough of her crap. I grabbed my second wiper and turned and started to walk away. She then started to scream. Where the hell do you think you're going? Get back here. Where is your manager? I'm getting you fired. A few seconds after the word fired came out of her volcano lips, I felt a hand grab my left shoulder and dagger-like nails dig into my skin in my upper chest area. Notes. Back in 2001, I was diagnosed with sarcoma cancer, which was in my upper left chest area. They removed all the cancer, muscle, whatever padding I had, and all that was left was a thin layer of skin. Her nails pierced the skin, I yelped, I grabbed her wrist with my right hand, squeezed her wrist hard, and yanked her hand off of me, and as I turned to face her, and pushed her away from me. She stumbled backwards and fell against the counter, and then her butt. She is sitting on the floor screaming that I attacked her. At this time, Joe came around the aisle. I yelled at Joe to get a manager and security. I then opened my polo and put my right hand in to check as my chest hurt. Yep, I was bleeding. She had torn the skin. I grabbed some tissues to put in place. At that time, the customer service manager and uh, Walmart security came running over. What the hell is going on here? Your employee attacked me! Karen was helped to her feet 
by the customer service manager and security. Which employee? Him? Pointing at Joe. No, him! Pointing at me. He doesn't work here. He works for Ace Hardware as per his shirt. I want him fired! I want him arrested! I am going to sue! In the meantime, the Walmart security came over and was talking to me. I told him what happened and that they should call the cops. He also called the EMTs as the tissue I was using was now blood-soaked. Karen is still screaming. I want him fired! I want him arrested! He assaulted me! He tried to violate me! She just kept going on and on. She was yelling down the aisle at me as well as a security guy and the one manager. The security guy told Joe to get me a chair as well as a bunch of towels and also to try to get a hold of my wife as well. After about 10 minutes, cops one and two came in. Cop one went to talk with Karen who kept adding more and <laughs> who kept adding more crimes against her. Seems not only I beat her up, then tried to violate her and then tried to steal her purse. Cop 2 came to talk to me. By this time, the EMTs and my wife were with me. My shirt was off and my upper chest was bloody and trails ran down my stomach and were starting to stain my khakis. Customer service manager and Walmart security were with Karen. The EMTs and my wife were with me. The cops were in the middle of the aisle talking. Cop 1 called over Walmart security and asked to see security footage. The two went off. Karen got real quiet when security cameras were mentioned. After about 10 minutes, the EMTs are finishing up and wanted to take me to the hospital, which I declined. Cop 1 and Walmart security came back and came over to me. The look on Karen's face with that smile like she won. The cops in low voices asked me if I wanted to press charges, which I said yes. They both turned and headed towards Karen, and when the one cop pulled out his cuffs, she screamed, Arrest him, not me! And threw her purse at Cop 1 and hit him in the face and turned and started to run, but Cop 2 did a flying tackle and took her to the floor and had her cuffed in under a minute. <laughs> she was charged with assault, giving a false police report, assaulting a police officer, resisting arrest, etc, etc. I myself had to have my arm in a sling for several weeks so that it would heal. I had to wear this gooey covered gauze while it did. Sorry for being so long-winded. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Damn, I did not expect that. Oh man, I'm just imagining freaking 40-year-old whatever suburban mom with nothing going on in her life assaulting a cop and getting tackled in the middle of a Walmart which is supposed to be your freaking playground pathetic alrighty roo this story is called apparently target employees wear pajamas now I had to take a picture after this happened because when it did I was so damn confused as to how in the world this woman looked at me and thought employee when all employees wear a red shirt tucked into jeans or dress pants Anyway, here I am at Tark in my pajamas because I had gotten up, dropped the kids off for their two and a half hours of school, and only had that short time to get birthday presents for my son's day coming up on the 28th. In the toy section, looking over all the stuff that could potentially make my kiddo's day, small stuff as we had taken a five day vacation to Tahoe for his and my daughter's birthday as they're a week apart, and I hear it. The hello! Obviously no one is talking to me as the voice is not familiar and the people I know would say my name knowing I intentionally ignore people I don't know. <laughs> Here is the exchange. I was standing on the big aisle that the board games and such are. In my store it's E42. Basically a sort of back wall with toys. Sorry, I'm crap at environmental visual description. Do you work here? Saying nothing because I'm in my pajamas. She's definitely not talking to me. Don't ignore me. I need help. Huh? Half turning my head to see who the fridge this is. Where the Hatchimals? Uh, I don't know. With the girl stuff? I do actually know this, but it's not my job to help her. Especially with her crap tone. Obviously. Which aisle? I don't know. Please leave me alone. I start walking away because I'm not in the mood for idiocy at 8.45 a.m. What is your name? You're incredibly rude. You are the rude one here, lady. I clearly don't freaking work here. Stop harassing me and find your own crap. 
You could have just said that and not wasted my time. I was turning into an aisle by the time she finished her sentence. An employee was stalking and looked at me concerned, asking if everything was okay. I told her, yeah, but apparently I work here and get to wear my PJs. I'd hide from the nut job if I were you. She gave me an odd look, so I said everything is fine. Thanks, and have a good day. I'm genuinely just awestruck at how she assumed for even a second that I worked there. I was in sweatpants in a low-cut crop tank and slippers for God's sake. But yeah, I wasted her time. The stupidity never ceases to blow me away. Cheers, everyone. Yikes. Oof. Well, two cranky people in this story. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.